Hi everyone, in this video I will show you how I texture painted this car in Blender. I will take you through the whole process step by step, from UV editing to final painting. So this whole process consists of three sections, mostly. First we UV unwrap the model, then we bake the shadows and the ambient occlusion in cycles and we use these shadow maps as the base layer and paint upon these base layers using different blending options and different brushes, brushwork in texture painting. Now to UV and wrap the model, first slide to get a new window, go to UV editor. Now select the object and go to edit mode. Also enable display stretch so that you can clearly see the UV map is fine. So to UV and wrap, just press U. Select Smart UV Project and if your model is not so complex then that should work just fine. Do the same process, press U, select Smart UV Project, repeat the same process. So we are done with UV and wrapping. Now we will bake shadows and ambient occlusion. Go to shader editor first. Press new. Now press shift A and select image texture. Press new. Let's name it shadow one. And Make it 4096 so that we have better resolution for our painting. Press OK. Now first select the node image texture and then select the object. Now go to render properties. Find the bake section. Select the type combined and press bake. Now it will take a few minutes until the baking is done. I've sped up, I have sped up the process here, that's why it's just going so fast. Once we are done with the baking shadow one, now we will move to baking the shadows for tires and headlight. Now repeat the same, we will repeat the same process. This is the shadow one that we have already baked. You can see we have shadows and ambient occlusions. Close the area. Now select the second object. Once again press Shift A, Image Texture, New. Let's name it Shadow 2. And press OK. Once again select the image texture and then select the object. Go to the Baking section in Render Properties, press Bake. Wait for it to complete. Repeat the same process for the ground. Clear. I feel the end in this 
So now we are done with baking process. Now let me show you all the images that we have. All the image textures, shadow 1, 2 and 3. As you can see the shadows and ambient occlusions are very visible here. Now go to image and save all the images. Now let us connect all the nodes, principal BSDF, the image texture nodes goes to principal BSDF. Close the area. Now if we go back to EV, we can see the shadows are still there because we have three image textures with shadows and occlusions. Here I'm going to append a new world setting from my previous models. As you can see, this is it. I would recommend just to copy all the notes you can see on the screen. We will need this world setting because by default what happens is that the colors in our, in our texture painting becomes very dull by default world setting. So we need this world setting so that our, the colors can look very crisp and very bright without becoming dull. So I would recommend you just copy all the notes. Let's start with texture painting now. First select the object, then go to texture paint. Now we have to change the blending mode, make it multiply, as we will start with our base color. We will be selecting faces and then use paint bucket tool to, to fill in the colors. When no faces are selected, just press Ctrl I and then press B and use your mouse to select the faces that you want to paint. You can also experiment with different blending options like overlays and soft screen, soft light and screen and hard light and all that. Place, so. 
in this stain Which has determined your fate I've never seen so clear I feel the end and it's near The day of reckoning's here The sound of deafening fear Oh